Confusion tonight over who should be held responsible for damages to some city-owned property, the Riverfront Boathouse. The city attorney says, according to the lease, it should be the Augusta Rowing Club, who's been leasing that building for decades. As Craig Allison explains, a lot is at stake for this prime property on the river. A long day of back and forth debates between city leaders and no idea on who should pay a potential $3 million fix. I was a little confused. <clears throat> I know we don't have $3 million to... <laughs> to fix the building, I know that much. Brad Holdren has been running the Augusta Rowing Club, who uses the boathouse, for the past eight years. The lease the rowing club signed 30 years ago says the rowing club is responsible for the building's upkeep. If they try to hang the whole repair of the boathouse on us, we'll just close. I, it, it would be very sad for, for the club and for the city, but... No, we can't foot that kind of bill. It all stems from a Christmas pipe burst that flooded the facility and left nothing but a laundry list of repairs and mold in its path. Brad says it was the city's decision to turn the heat off, leading to the burst pipes and should be their responsibility to help fix the mess. The money has the mayor considering everything, even scrapping the whole building and starting from scratch. There's a lot of interest in events that uh, that occur on our river, everything from Iron Man. I recall many years ago that facility used to be used for wedding receptions, for meetings, and I'd like to get back to that. A lot of history that's up in the air. People training out of this boathouse, we've got three Olympic silver medals in the last 30 years here. To me personally, it's everything. In Augusta, Craig Allison on your side. So the commission will come back in about two weeks to figure out who should be responsible for fixing the boathouse or if they should go another route altogether. We'll let you know what they decide.